Almost 50% of the population worldwide suffers from vitamin D deficiency. There are two major forms of vitamin D, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. Only a few foods are good sources of vitamin D, such as egg yolks and fatty fish. The major source of vitamin D for most people is sunlight exposure. Vitamin D is produced in the skin when it is exposed to the sun's ultraviolet B rays. But because of the modern lifestyle, sunlight exposure is reduced for many people and vitamin D deficiency may appear. Exposing your skin to the sun for too long can be dangerous because it can increase the risk of developing skin cancer. Moderate but frequent sun exposure is healthy and recommended. It is considered that a daily 15 minute sunlight exposure is enough for getting your vitamin D. Sunscreen with a protection factor above 30 can reduce vitamin D production by more than 90%. The amount of vitamin D you get from sunlight exposure depends on where you live, the color of your skin and the amount of skin exposed. The larger area of skin you expose, the most vitamin D you will make. Melanin is a pigment produced by a type of skin cells called melanocytes. The more melanin you have, the darker your skin color is. Melanin protects skin cells from UVB radiation damage. More melanin allows less UVB radiation to enter the skin, so less vitamin D is produced. This means that people who have darker skin require a longer period of sun exposure to produce vitamin D. Groups at risk of suffering from vitamin D deficiency Breastfed infants Because breast milk is low in vitamin D, infants are usually given vitamin D supplements in order to prevent rickets, which is a rare disease in developed countries. People who have dark skin People with reduced sunlight exposure and old people People suffering from medical conditions associated with fat malabsorption such as inflammatory bowel disease, cystic fibrosis, liver disease. Vitamin D deficiency causes a mineralization defect in the skeleton. This results in osteomalacia in adults and rickets in children. Osteomalacia causes softening of the bones and increases the risk of fractures because calcium absorption is reduced due to vitamin D deficiency and calcium loss from bone is increased. Rickets also causes softening of the bones and as the child starts to walk, long bones bend under its weight. You should always discuss with your doctor before taking vitamin D supplements as in high doses vitamin D can be toxic. The excess of vitamin D is rare and it is caused by increased doses of vitamin D supplements. Sunlight exposure does not usually cause vitamin D toxicity. The excess of vitamin D causes hypercalcemia, leading to vascular calcifications or excess deposits of calcium in organs such as heart, liver, kidneys. Symptoms of hypercalcemia may include increased thirst and urination, nausea and vomiting, weakness, weight loss, irritability. Some roles and benefits of vitamin D in the body are it can protect against certain types of cancer, of which the colorectal cancer is to be mentioned. It reduces the risk of heart disease and it can lower hypertension. It might lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. It can improve depressive symptoms. It can reduce the risk of fractures. It can lower the risk of developing autoimmune diseases. It helps the immune system and reduces the risk of infections. So, are you getting enough vitamin D?